My brother, you're welcome to Shekinah Glory of Faith Ministry. Please kindly introduce yourself and tell the saints here, presence and viewers all over the world the wonderful things God has done for you. And I live in uh, Johannesburg. I uh, stand here before you today to give glory to our, our uh, Father in Heaven. So in uh, 2021, I attended a Sunday service and uh, after church, I had the opportunity to uh, speak to the uh, man of God, uh, Prophet Isaka, and he uh, told me that once I graduate high school, uh, people are going to be uh, surprised. So by then, I was in uh, grade 11, and I was struggling academically. However, the following year when I uh, graduated high school, I did very well. Um, what actually helped me is that I would wear my youth uh, t-shirts in every single exam that I wrote. So I would go in and I would uh, wear my youth um, t-shirt. So I gained admission into university, but I was unable to register in January of uh, 2023 because my documents were not valid. And in uh, January of uh, 2024, I was also unable to register because my documents were not valid. So I spoke to the man of God on the phone and he uh, said to me, uh, don't be scared uh, that your the documents are going to be released. And in March of this year, I applied to university again. However, I was um, waitlisted and I was shocked because I knew that um, I had the marks to actually go to school. So I sent an uh, email to the university's admissions office and they told me that they increased the minimum requirements. And when I heard that news, I became depressed and um, the man of God spoke to me through Zoom and he told me to uh, calm down. One uh, Sunday service, I had the grace to collect a flower, this flower, from uh, here. And the man of God spoke to me and he said that I will receive an SMS on my phone that my documents are going to be ready to be collected about uh, two weeks later, at half past three in the morning, I received an email from university saying that my document, um, that I have been, so I received an email from university saying that I have been accepted into. My brother, you said that the man of God instructed you to receive a flower. How did you connect the flower to the problems, the issues, the setbacks you are going through. How did you connect or how did you see flower to be something that will change your situation? How did you believe in that flower you are just asked to pick from the altar? Well, I uh, believe that as this flower represents something uh, beautiful, so I went on my knees and I ask God that as this flower is also uh, uh, beautiful that I believe that my own life will be uh, beautiful like the flower let us clap for Master Jesus our brother said he believed that as far as the flower represents beauty represents excellence that hence the servant of God have instructed him to pick the flower from the altar, life will change, his life will be beautified. And to the glory of God, today he's testifying that same beauty of that flower he picked from the altar. Let us once again clap for Master Jesus, the of God. So now that you have been accepted, regardless of the massive qualifications and the requirements, how do you feel? Um, I feel very grateful to God. I feel very humble as well because I know that this is His uh, 
hand in my life. Yeah. And I believe that during those period you are here praying and asking God for breakthrough in your academics. I know you had an encounter with the servant of God. Let us watch the video to see what actually transpired during those period. You are struggling, praying, and believing God that God will intercede on your behalf because... So my brother, we saw some documents on that, on the board over there. What are those documents there? The documents there can tell us what are those documents. Okay, so uh, on the 1st of October, I received an email on my phone uh, from Home Affairs. And um, it, it's... Uh, so... This one is my uh, permanent residence, uh, my permit. So this, I got this on Wednesday. That clapping is not good enough. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. If you are looking for permanent residence and you are listening to this testimony, can you make a wonderful noise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Amen and amen. To those who know the essence of having a permanent resident in South Africa at this period is like walking from here to America. Let us thank the God of now, the God of Shakana, glory of faith ministry. Let us clap for Master Jesus. My brother, what is the other documents there? So this one is my acceptance letter from uh, school. Let us clap for Master Jesus. And this one is the email from Home Affairs uh, telling me to come and uh, collect my uh, PR. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Indeed, we serve the God of now. I remember during the time our father was here for one-on-one, -on -one, I saw our brother crying to prophet, telling him, my permit, my permit, my permit. And prophet told him, it is done. And today, to the glory of God, it is done. Let us clap for Master Jesus. My brother, I know you are so happy today. How can you describe the power of God in this house? Um, I believe that the uh, presence of God is here in uh, Shekinah, uh, Glorious Faith Ministries. I believe that all you have to do is just to um come here be humble and um surrender everything to god let us clap for master jesus my brother i see that you have some bodyguards with you 
which is they are protecting the permanent residence certificate. Can I hear from them, please? Give your sister. My sister, how are you? Good morning, people of God. My name is Tulsa Mutombo. I thank God for this wonderful testimony that he has blessed my brother with because this was, there was no peace in the house, I can tell you that. Every day, it was, he was always crying to God, if I can say it. When I had started um, this application, they came to me and they said, you must apply. I looked at them like me, a child. I don't know what to do. But with faith in my heart, I'm like, okay, fine. Let me do this. Okay. I went onto the website and I started trying to see the page to load, trying to fill in my information, but to no avail. This took several months several months to the point where it didn't make sense. I'm like, what is happening? And my mom will come to me and be like, Tilsa, have you done it? Tilsa, have you done it? And I say, no, because I did not understand how is it that this, I did not understand, you know, every time it's things of Wi-Fi and, and connection. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Um, let me hear from your sister. I know that you will tell us my sister have said it all. My sister have said it all. Just one minute. Good morning people of God you know when God says I'm going to do something he knows what he's saying and you must just believe that what he has said will come to pass it doesn't matter when it doesn't matter how because God is the God of impossibilities when he said it, it does, you must not think, oh no but I need to go to school I need to do that when he said I have given it you must just take it, and when it comes, it will come. Amen. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I want to say something. Hallelujah. Can everyone hear me? I want to say something regarding this testimony. Please put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. I want everyone to put their hands together. I want to see the congregation put their hands together. People of God, this is something that is very important. And I want the entire world to know that God, when he says something, no matter your situation, no matter your circumstances, it will come to pass. You remember the young man was saying something, but he forgot a lot. I got a lot of things. Remember, this was the young man the day I said that those who have problems regarding their ID. I said, I saw people, they want to travel, they want to do a lot of things with ID. But I don't see the ID. They are crying. They want to commit something. They want to do something bad. And they are struggling that I want them to come out. Then eventually, I was talking about travel documents, about travel concerning documents, documents, documents. Then the young, this young man was the first person to run out. Then the other girl ran out. Praise the Lord. Then I said to them, I said, okay, listen, do you, you are looking for your documents, you are looking for this, it is done. But go pick the flower so that your life can be decorated. People of God, I don't give flower to anybody anyhow. The moment I tell you take a flower, there is no way your life cannot beautify. Never, not in not in this world or hereafter. So that was why I said to the young man, go and pick the flower. Your documents is released, and I want to tell the world this young man want to harm himself. He was in a very serious trouble. There was so much depression that he wanted to kill himself. He wanted to take a drastic decision. So I want to use him as a point of contact to talk to all the kids. Do not force yourself into what to do something until God wants that thing to be done. We have to be very prayerful. Where is that young man? Uh, tell us what was your, what was what was in your mind during the time that this problem was going on? Did you come to the church? Yes, I did. You refused to pray. You refuse to come to God. You refuse to do anything. But the Lord said, I should do this. What happened? Tell us. 
What happened? So I lost the energy to uh, 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 prepare at home, and I lost hope. I lost all hope in life, actually. So I was um, thinking about uh, hurting myself, and yeah, it was very bad. <laughs> but you didn't say it during the testimony. <laughs> so these are the things that will change people's life. You don't hurt yourself. I knew what I saw. And that was why I called you and said, your documents will be out. Don't worry. I personally called you in your house. Because I received a call that things are not right. Is that not true? Yes. That is true, yes. Eh? That is true, yes. Yes. But you forgot. When I received a phone call, this was what is happening. I prayed for you. But I was surprised. You see how the Holy Spirit worked. I was surprised the day when I said, ID, you run out. You were the first to run out. <laughs> Where are those that have problems? You are the first to run out. Means my God walked. Your God walked. The Holy Spirit walked. You run out, and when you run out, I say, wow, my father, I thank you. I did not tell you to come out. I did not ask anything. But the Holy Spirit moved you from that chair. You run out. And when you run out, I say, father, this is the opportunity I've been looking for. You know, many people, they have a problem. Whatever problem you have, don't keep it to yourself. Tell your neighbor, whatever problem you have, don't take it to yourself. Don't take a decision that tomorrow you begin to blame Satan. No. Our destinies are in our hand. That's why when we are praying, I say a close mouth is a close destiny. A close mouth is a close destiny. A close mouth is a close destiny. Please open your mouth and pray. This is what I keep encouraging people to do. So eventually, that day when I saw you, I was... My heart was full of that. I said, Father, thank you. This is the opportunity I'm looking for. Can I tell you something? The whole, entire world will hear about you. <laughs> the world will hear about you. The way, there was a young man in Thailand many years back. This young man does not have a school certificate. That's a school living certificate like a metric. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. So, but when we are when I was we are doing dry fasting in the church and praying, eventually the Lord said they correct this young man's life so that his life will change. It was young, 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 young. And he was there. The Lord said, decorate his life. I just went to the altar, I picked the flower, I said, Listen, I decorate your life, the entire people world will hear you. This nation will hear you. The father said, I should decorate your life. He said, How? He don't even know what I did. I give him flower. This young man that does not have a school cert, does not have a metric, went and took his grade 10 and went to varsity, went to college. They accepted him. <laughs> he said, I said to him, go and study. He went and studied there. I'm going to bring him to South Africa. He was going to fly in to come and give you guys the, give us the testimony himself. I will tell him, record your testimony and send it. Then he had, he got the admission there. Immediately he finished that, he got a diploma. From the diploma, because that time was internet time, he went and studied how to build the internet, how to build a, 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 a website, how to do Dreamweaver, decorate this. You know, he started developing interest, and I called him. So from there, he went to that school, he got diploma. From diploma, he went and got first degree, he went and got second degree, he went and got PhD. He's a lecturer at the university now and is the is the president of Nigerian Association. There is nothing anyone can do, no minister in Nigeria, no minister in South Africa, I mean in, in Thailand that will go to, 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 to Nigeria for investment. All investors they go with him. <laughs> All investors go with him. He's so big right now, as I'm talking to you people. Then he called me, he said, he called some years back. He said, man of God, you decorated my life. I am not surprised that what is happening in South Africa is happening. Because in Thailand, you just visited, you are not 
anything. You just visited the church and you're not a pastor. Nobody knows you as a pastor. People, nobody knows you as a prophet. But you, whenever you stand, you say, I am the prophet of the Most High God. I prophesy to you. He said, but they were surprised how I was using those words. Because I don't have a church. A prophet is supposed to have a church. A prophet is supposed to have this. You know, that's what they expect. That's what the world expects. But when I do it, I say, I give you time. By this time, something will happen. So he called. He was giving testimony. My heart was full of joy. He said, I will never forget you. It's not only him. Several encounters like that have been many years. I don't talk about Nigeria, I don't talk about Benin, I don't talk about Ghana, I don't talk about the, every country I visited, even in Europe, Africa. So it's not about me, it's about Christ. It's about humbling yourself, don't harm yourself. When all seems to be ugly, glorify God. I'm saying to the youth, sometimes you go and write the exam, you say, I fail, you never fail, there's no failure. Except otherwise you refuse to obey. I called this young man. I said, don't harm yourself. You already got a permanent resident. You already got admission. And I said, which university reject you? He said he applied for VET University. VET University is one of the best universities in South Africa. He said he got admission there, but they deny him. I said, do you want to go to VET University? He said, yes. I said, you go back there. Today, VET University have accepted him. <laughs> he got to admission actually he got to admission he didn't say all those things because his body is shaking where he is <laughs> he got to admission so the youth should be very committed to the things of God and after that prayer I try to encourage him we try to encourage him to be committed the sisters are very clever they keep talking and keep push, pressing forward please don't get discouraged even the, when the tunnel seems to be too dark, still believe in my God. My God never disappoints. My God is your Father. He's the creator of heaven and earth. He's the omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent God. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the one that knows your beginning to your ending. Just focus on Him and relax. Allow Him to walk. 